Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Spice situation, honey. Spice, Nicki Minaj, Foxy Brown, and Remy Ma. So if you guys do not know, there was some damn Caribbean drama, okay? So what went down is this. Spice is a reggae artist. She's a Jamaican dancehall artist. She's been doing her thing for years. Waiting for a cock to go bum, tick tock. But a lot of you guys know her from being on Love & Hip Hop ATL this season. Well, she was at the BET Awards, okay? And she was sitting rather close to Remy Ma and Papoose, and she showed a shady video of Remy Ma and Papoose basically sitting there watching Nikki's performance. They were looking stone-faced, and they were sitting down. She decided to be messy and film them and then post this online. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Bye. All right, so you guys just saw that messy ass video that Spice posted online. And so once she posted that, of course, Foxy Brown got involved. As we all know, Foxy Brown does not like Remy Ma. She tried to, you know, make a Remy Ma diss record and it literally went double wood. Nobody gave a fuck. Take over, fake sober, nigga. Got a little shine, okay. Think Mona, I heard your little rhymes, okay. Brooklyn, I'm on, I'm on my nine, six shit. Got the DNA, Yehova, and Nick, my bitch. But bitch, I'm saying I'm on the car, course laying, bitch, I'm not playing. Um, and then, you know, so while Foxy was praising Spice, all of a sudden Nicki Minaj walked over. Honey, I was there right when it damn happened, okay? Nicki Minaj walked over and she started commenting as well and I was taking my damn screenshots, okay? So I wanna go ahead and show you guys the conversation that they had. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. And ever since it went down, all of Spice's fans have been trolling Remy Ma and going in on her and talking shit. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. So Spice says, first time watching my idol of live performance at Nikki Kilted at the BET Awards, bitch we been on. Then Foxy Brown comes on and she says, crying, laughing, you a fucking fool. And Nicki Minaj, foot pun them block cock face. So that's what Foxy Brown says. Then Nicki Minaj comes and she gives Foxy Brown a bunch of kissy faces. And then she tells Spice Official, I'm obsessed with you. All right, so you guys just heard me read that messy ass exchange. So the whole situation is crazy, okay? And you know, before y'all say who the hell is Spice, Spice is legit. And when Cardi B met Spice, she showed Spice a lot of love. She's doing the damn thing in the Caribbean, okay? So I'll give Spice that, but I would say Spice, bitch, you was being hella messy, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So yeah, she was being messy, but my thing is this. First of all, a lot of folks are saying that Nicki Minaj's performance was whack. Don't come snatching my damn wig. That's what a lot of folks on the internet are saying. They're saying they weren't feeling Nicki's performance, especially being that she went on the whole tirade about girls, you know, carrying themselves like whores and strippers, only for her to get on stage and have her legs gapped open. But that's a whole nother damn video, okay? So my thing is this. Had Remy Ma been up dancing and two-stepping and rapping along, y'all would have went in on her and called all types of fake bitches and, oh, now you want to dance to Nicki's shit? Oh, now you want to support Nikki? So I think Remy Ma and Papoose did the right thing. This chick came out with Sheetha, one of the craziest disc records that we've heard in ages, okay? And basically drug Nicki Minaj. So why would she be up smiling and happy and supporting Nicki? She obviously does not like Nicki. She does not support Nicki. You know, so I think her sitting down and sitting there stone face, that was the most natural reaction that Remy Ma and Papoose could have, being that, you know, they dissed her a year ago, okay? And another thing is this. Don't forget that when Azealia Banks was talking all that shit about Cardi B, what was the number one clapback that Cardi B had for her? So much so that Azealia Banks couldn't say shit else back. When Azealia Banks talked all that shit and Cardi B chose to post that video of Azealia Banks just basically wilding out, rapping, having a good old funky time in the club, rapping the Cardi B song, Vodak Yellow, okay? So Remy Ma is smart for not dancing and not acknowledging Nicki on stage because had she been doing that, then the cameras probably would have focused on her and that would have caused a bunch of more shit on the internet. She wasn't trying to go out like damn Azealia Banks, okay? So I think Remy Ma and Papu sitting there, that made the most sense. You know, at the end of the day, these women are not friends. 
friends. They're not cool. So I don't expect her to stand up and, you know, support Nicki Minaj. She did what she felt she had to do. And Spice, you were being damn messy, okay? And Nicki Minaj, I'm gonna need you to learn how to twerk a little bit better, okay? Because that struggle twerk that you did on stage, I, I wasn't here for it. And Foxy Brown, I'm gonna need you to go sit down somewhere and go take care of that beautiful little girl that you had about a year ago. If y'all have not seen Foxy Brown's little daughter, she is gorgeous, okay? She is beautiful as hell. So I'm gonna need Foxy Brown to calm down and go breastfeed her child because after all these years of you having Nicki Minaj's back and standing for Nicki Minaj, she's just now possibly putting you on her new album in 2018, okay? So I guess all that ass kissing has finally paid off because rumor has it, they'll be collaborating together on a new track. I'm definitely here for it, okay? Because I'm, you know, a fan of Foxy Brown, but this entire damn situation, but this entire damn situation was just messy and uncalled for. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy, messy-ass situation concerning Spice, Foxy Brown, Nicki Minaj, and Remy Ma and Pratt Poo sitting there looking like some damn stone statues. They was not here for that performance whatsoever. So let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation. All right, deuces. Girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.